I'm going to bring the governor of Idaho in on this. Governor Brad Little joins us now. You say the governor of Idaho on a border bill, the governor just was one of 14 Republican governors who joined the governor of Texas in a visit to the border. There was a news conference over the weekend. I want to put up your tweet about that. And you uh, tweeted out, I was proud to join my fellow Republican governors in Texas, support Gre Governor Abbott. We must secure the border now, protect American families. And there's some pictures of you down there. Before we talk about what Joe was just reporting on this bill uh, today, what did you learn uh, at the border, and why is it of interest to the people of Idaho? Well, obviously, the people of Idaho, it's the safety of the people of Idaho. Uh, fentanyl is running rampant all over the country, and Idaho is no exception. And the other thing is human trafficking. But the, the real issue is the cartels are controlling the border and not the American government, not the next Mexican government. That's where the problem comes from. But we saw where Governor Abbott, with the help of other governors, were at a crossing where there were 3,000 people a day. When we were there, there were only three a day because you, if you act and you put in the right kind of enforcement and you send the right kind of signal, but we desperately need to send a signal to all these people all over the world, particularly in Latin America, uh, that they they cannot come here unfettered. They have to go. They have to go through a process. And that's just not happening. It was happening before, but it's not happening now. Do you support this bill that's been agreed to, Republicans and Democrats, um, in the Senate? It was James Lankford, the Republican, who put it together. But now it seems like there's a decent amount of Republican opposition to that. As, as uh, Joe rightly pointed out, a lot of Democrats say that's just election year politics. I mean, you guys, the Republicans got a lot of what they were asking for, but now they're opposed to it. What, what do you say? Well, we absolutely have to do something. And a lot of what could be done could be done through executive order. Uh, obviously, there's mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit of money in this, and it's going to take some more money. There's no question about it. But, you know, the taxpayers in Texas are putting over $2 billion a year into that. Uh, and, it's, it, and we other governors are helping them. I'm going to send down my uh, fourth team of uh, state troopers to help first with drug trafficking and second with human trafficking. Right. Uh, but... The if you do it in a vacuum and just put money into it and don't take those actions about remain in Mexico, about, uh, you know, the fact that the people they're processing now don't have to do anything until 2031, 2032. And I do understand that this mm -hmm. legislation addresses part of that. And yeah. that's a good thing. But they need to take action. It frustrates me that the president says if they pass this bill, I'll close the border down. Well, why didn't he close it down today instead of wait till this bill passes? Well, the, but on that point, though, you, you, as you say, it does have some provisions in it, which Republicans have been pushing for to speed things up. So that's why I, I was thinking this would be something a Republican uh, would be likely to support. And the other thing I noticed that's in there, because, and, and you brought it up, is the fentanyl. You know, there's something they call it the, uh, the Fend Off Fentanyl Act. So it would require the president to sanction transnational criminal organizations engaged in trafficking. trafficking. So, I mean, that's something you would want. Would you encourage Republicans to at least support this? Some have said it would be a down payment. And then maybe, you know, you get more if you, if you pick up seats in the Congress next year. Yes, but when President Trump was in office, we know the precursor chemicals for fentanyl that's being produced in Mexico are coming from China. Mm -hmm. And when, when President Trump was in office, he had a, a deal to keep that from happening. Since he left, the, the precursor chemicals have been flooding in to, into Mexico. The cartels are making it sending it up here, smuggling it into the country, putting it on innocent people, right. uh, making it available to the Americans, and it's killing Americans every day. Again, President Biden could do that today if he just do re-implement what President Trump had. But you started off the conversation, the only thing I'm asking, Governor, by saying there is more needed. And even if we acknowledge your points that, you know, and I think a lot of people do, that maybe this president didn't do as much as was... Uh, required, especially early in his presidency. I think even some Democrats now are acknowledging that point. So he could have done more. But then we're saying, well, all right, well, now you have a bipartisan group that got together and said, well, let's do this now. And then it's the former president and the Republicans are holding it up. And I'm just saying, other than obvious politics, what would be the reason for that? If it has a lot, again, it has a lot of what you guys have been pushing for, meaning Republicans. Well, it's not me holding it up. No, I know. They, they, they should have acted. They, they should have acted earlier. Right. But, 
the fact remains, inaction or going backwards by this administration has created the problem. And to say that, oh, n nothing happened because we're waiting for this money from Congress, it was happening before without the money from Congress. So, I mean, that's the narrative that we should be talking about. This is money added on top. And frankly, because of the inaction by this administration, it, the problem has gotten a lot worse, so it's going to take more resources. It never should have got to the point it is today. But the fact of the matter, it is. Uh, the fact of the matter, the, the millions of people uh, that are in the queue, that are coming across, that have come across, that have a court date somewhere, we have no way to keep track of them. It's a problem that was caused by this administration. Yes, they need some money, and I understand this bill addresses uh, quite a few of those things. It's not perfect, but there's very few right. large pieces of legislation <laughs> at the federal level that are perfect. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.